I trained three AI models to predict who wins the Super Bowl today, with the models scoring the game 36 and 14, with the winners being the... Super Bowl 59 is the biggest American sports event of the entire year with hundreds of millions of people tuning in. The two teams playing today are the Philadelphia Eagles, coached by Adam Sandler, and the Kansas City Chiefs, coached by Dr. Eggman. According to FanDuel, the odds of who wins the Super Bowl are basically the same as the coin toss, where the Chiefs have won the past two Super Bowls and historically have won four Super Bowls in NFL history, whereas the Eagles have only won a single Super Bowl. On the other hand, the last time the Eagles played against the Chiefs was in the 2023 Super Bowl, which the Chiefs won, but they won by a last-minute penalty kick, which means the game was very, very close. And the Eagles also currently have the highest-ranked defense in the NFL. And also, if you look at how many times the Eagles have played against the Chiefs head-on, they're tied 5-5. Five and five. And all this means is that the Super Bowl is likely going to be a very close game. And so I wanted to make my own statistical prediction of who is going to win. Let's start off by asking what ChatGPT thinks. It thinks the Chiefs will win because of different sports news channels like Fox, giving a slight edge to the Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, who led the team to winning the past two Super Bowls. But that said, I wouldn't put my money exactly on this prediction mostly because it's working with qualitative data, the opinions of the sports broadcasting news channels. And ChatGPT is also a very complicated AI model. And if I'm going to, it's going to be really hard for me to explain to someone exactly how it came up with a prediction. And so what I'm instead going to do is train a simple AI model so that I can then easily explain how it works. And right now I'm going to use the most simplest AI model in existence, one that you learned in high school statistics class, good old linear regression. So what I did was I collected more data on every time the Chiefs and the Eagles play against each other head on, as well as different player statistics about each team. So I combined all the data into 21 different features that I give to our linear regression model. And the model will then predict what the scores are going to be for the Eagles and the Chiefs, and then from whichever team has the higher score wins. So after training the model, we can see it's about 340 points off from the Eagles points and 120 points off from the Chiefs points, which is a 900% inaccuracy, which in, means in data terms, the model sucks really bad. The reason is because we only have seven rows in our training data set and three rows to actually test the model because the Chiefs and the Eagles have only played against each other 10 times. So the linear regression is a model that doesn't handle data imbalance very well. And in other words, the, there's not enough data to train the model on. So linear regression didn't really work that well, but I know of another AI model that handles imbalance data really gracefully. And it's a model that you're all familiar with but haven't like heard about in the AI space probably, it's called a decision tree. A decision tree allows you to make a series of decisions over time and they each branch off into different outcomes. And it's very similar to how the quarterback decides which play to run in the game. Starting with your current situation, like we're in the fourth down and three yards to go, the quarterback considers whether to run the ball, pass the ball, or even punt the ball, which each creates three different branches that each lead to different outcomes. And at every decision point, you weigh factors like the opposing team's, the opposing defense's formation, the, the time we have left, or the position in the field. And the best part about decision trees is that they're about as explainable as linear regression, but are also more accurate, especially with imbalanced data. And specifically here, we're going to use the XG boost model, which is like an army of quarterbacks all making their own predictions, depending on which, deciding on which play they want to decide on. And as a result, our tree based model is not only more accurate than linear regression, it also tells us that the number of touchdowns and number of regular season wins are the most important features that determine how many points each team scores in the Super Bowl which those make very much sense. And now I feel very confident in putting my money in this model's prediction. And with this model, the final verdict is that the Eagles are going to win 36 points and the Chiefs are going to win 14 points, making the winner of the Super Bowl tonight going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. Now to put a disclaimer on this model, there's a lot of important factors that I should be including that I'm, but I'm not including for the sake of this video, like the weather of the stadium, how many penalties each team was called for, and how much Taylor Swift made the Super Bowl that year. 
But I hope you liked learning about the differences between linear regression and decision trees. And now all we have to do is pretty much wait to see if the Eagles are actually going to win the Super Bowl and if our model's prediction was correct. And if you're interested in learning more about how AI can be used for sports betting, I actually made a video on predicting UFC fights, which you can go watch in the description below. But otherwise, thanks for watching the video and go birds. <laughs>